Hi everyone, welcome back to another house tour. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, sharing with you all a comfortable three bedroom detached property with a garage. This is Denby from Parrot Homes. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. It could be useful to you. This is located at Lockwood Fields, Dewsbury. It's a silent but developed area. You have really good uh, primary and high schools nearby. Now going with the floor plans, in the ground floor you have a garage, lounge, dining, kitchen with utility and a washroom. On the first floor you have three bedrooms with the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and a common family bathroom. Now as you enter the house, there's a hall in front of you which leads to the living room and also the upstairs. So let's check out the living area first. So this is the living room. It's a lengthy living room with decent space. You have the living space in the front which leads to the dining area coming behind. And uh, there's also kitchen towards the right side, utility and followed by a washroom. So it's kind of like a L-shaped living space here. You also have the garden access through these French doors provided here from the dining space. As you can see, it's a quite uh, lengthy living room. It depends how you plan it. Some people like these kind of uh, lengthy spaces and some don't like. Again, it's totally up to you. So from this living space, you have uh, another small storage space here with a door and lock. You can plan some kind of storage in here. The ventilation is really good. As you can see uh, from both the sides, plenty of natural light is falling in the room. You can easily plan a nice dining table towards this end and there's also nice garden access through the French doors. So you'll be getting a decent garden uh, with fence around it. Now exploring the kitchen side. Again, this is a lengthy kitchen space. Towards one side they gave the induction cooking and towards the other side you also have a lengthy worktop. The fridge and freezer are coming towards the front end here and there are decent amount of cupboards you know both at the bottom and even at the top. So you can plan your dishwasher and all towards this side and the window also is quite wide and big enough. So plenty of natural light falling everywhere. And from this kitchen you have the utility space here. It's again a small room space with one window coming and the boiler is given in this utility space. So even at the bottom there are a few cupboards wherein you can plan the washing machine and dryer. And from this utility space you have the uh, way towards the washroom in the ground floor. It's again a small and uh, neat washroom. You have a window coming in this washroom as well. There's something new about this property. Uh, it looks a little different from the regular Barat home models what we have seen before. Even though this is an open plan kitchen with dining space, uh, yet you have some kind of privacy towards the kitchen area and the utility and washroom space because it's L-shaped living and kitchen space. And the ventilation also is really good. Now let's check out the rooms on the first floor. As I told you, on the first floor we have three bedrooms with uh, the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and a common bathroom. So this is the master bedroom of the house. It's a double bedroom, a double cot fits in and you have a really good room space to walk around. As you can see there's a nice wide window coming towards uh, the front end. So plenty of natural light falling in the room. Now beside the court you are getting a decent space to plan a wide wardrobe. So this is the wardrobe space. Now let's check out the ensuite. So this is the ensuite. The space looks quite okay. Um, you have the walk-in shower, 
water closet and also the sink there's a nice window coming towards the front end so natural light is falling even in this ensuite now if you actually look at uh, many of the barat home properties you don't get a window in the ensuite and even in the ground floor washroom but in this particular property i have observed that in all the washrooms you have a window which is really a good thing This is all about the master bedroom of the house. Now let's move to the other rooms in this property. So just beside this master bedroom, uh, you're getting the second bedroom of the house. So this is the second bedroom. It's again a double bedroom as you can see. Uh, the space is really good. Even after having a double cot, you have really good room space to walk around. There's a nice window coming towards one side. So plenty of natural light falling in this room. In most of the three bedroom properties, you normally get uh, the master bedroom with good uh, size and the rest of the bedrooms will be smaller. But here in this particular property, if you observe, even the second bedroom has got a really good space. Only thing, it doesn't have an ensuite. Uh, towards the front end here, you're getting some extra storage space with the door and lock. So you can plan a wardrobe in here or you can use it as a storage space. It's up to you. And uh, towards the other side, you, you can actually plan the entire wall with the wardrobe. So overall, a decent bedroom with a very good space. Now let's check out the third bedroom of the property. So just beside this uh, second bedroom, you have the third bedroom. And this is slightly bigger than the single bedroom and uh, smaller than the double bedroom. Normally uh, in three bedroom properties you get uh, the third bedroom in you know the rectangle shape but this is slightly bigger than the regular ones. So a small cot fits in and you have really good space to walk around. You can also plan a kid's uh, wardrobe towards one side. So this was the third bedroom of the property. Now let's check out the family bathroom which is coming beside it. So this is the family bathroom. The space looks quite okay. Uh, you have the tub, water closet, sink and there's a window coming towards the front end. So the ventilation is good even in this bathroom. Overall I felt the property was decent for a good price. Uh, especially the bedrooms are uh, good size bedrooms all three of them including the smallest bedroom and also the living and kitchen spaces with utility and all it's in L shape and uh, you feel as if it's spread out actually which is new and uh, good as well for small families uh, this should be okay again it's up to you because the bathrooms are a little smaller compared to the other houses also in the front you'll be getting a garage and also two car park space so it's a good value for money i hope you liked watching my today's video do give me your suggestions and feedback in the comment section i would love to hear from you also if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button and feel free to activate the bell icon at the bottom so that you won't miss out on my future uploads stay safe stay connected see you in another vlog